21 years in the league and almost 42 years of age. Vince Carter is the oldest active player in the NBA. We want to know some of the secrets to his longevity on the court. Vince, 21 seasons in this league, you must be doing a lot of things right, right? Can you share with us some tips as far as sleep patterns, nutrition, any special training? None at all. None of that stuff really matters. I mean, it's just my willingness to do whatever um, to last this long more than anything. Uh, and, a, and a little luck. You know, I've been fortunate, <clears throat> been lucky. You know, I just still have the passion and the love for the game where I want to continue to play as long as possible until I don't, I don't get phone calls anymore. So, you know, that's just kind of how it's been for me. How have you evolved as a basketball player during the years and has your training changed? Uh, yeah, it's changed. I mean, I, I mean, I, I have to go all summer as far as just doing something just to maintain and, and just to, you know, um, rev it up as, as we get close to the season. So I'm just smart about it. That's, I think, more than anything and just understanding my body and timing is always important for me. People would love to see you in another dunk yeah. contest. Would you ever do that? No. <laughs> have you ever seen this competitiveness in the league and how basketball is changing compared to 10 years ago and 20 years ago? Uh, basketball has just been different. I mean, every 10 years, like you say, it's just been different. I mean, I think the way the game is officiated, uh, what they're trying to accomplish uh, in the sport now is different, which makes the game different. Uh, Excuse me, they're trying to make the game faster so you don't really see as many post-ups, you don't really see as many Shaq-type players or just the, the, the big, big uh, five men anymore. And if you do, they have the ability to shoot, run the floor pass like any other guard, small forward. So uh, it's just a totally different game. You know, I remember starting my first couple of games, my first week I was so tired just because of how physical the game was, particularly being in the East, um, you know, playing like the Knicks and the Pacers and, you know, the Boston Celtics at, at the time. So... You know, as, as you move on 10 years later, it's just, uh, I mean, I, I don't know the word to use at all, so I'm not going to say it, but it's just the game changed. And it wasn't as physical, let's just say that, as it, you know, it, it used to be. Yes, some physical players, but night in and night out, it used to be something different. Now, night in and night out, you have to have your track shoes on, you have to be in shape. So it's just a different, a different style of uh, a brand of basketball, which is working. How does it feel to be a point of reference for so many young guys, young teammates? Now, are you satisfied with tonight's team performance? Uh, being a point of reference, I mean, it's it's a, it's a great, cool feeling. I, I tell you what, I mean, it just, uh, I mean, just makes me feel good about the the body of work that I've, you know, done. I've had throughout my 20 plus years, and you know, I enjoy still being around, helping young guys grow, and helping you know this team. You know, or whoever I'm playing for, or even if I'm not playing for them. I talked to a lot of, a lot of young guys before and after the game uh, about different things and answer to any of the questions they have. So um, it's a role that I've, I accept, and it, it, just, it, it helps me. I enjoy it.